Formula 1 cars are very complex. It will therefore come as no surprise that even starting a Formula 1 car can be quite a chore. Just turn a key and drive away. No, well this is not possible. We'll explain how it works in this brand new fact checker. The engines of Formula 1 cars are very strong, but they are also very fragile. With a normal car, you need to be gentle until it's up and running and warm, but with an F1 car, simply being gentle doesn't quite cut it. Starting an F1 engine cold is simply not an option. The V6 only turns on when it's completely ready for it and the engine itself cannot regulate its temperature. All kinds of preparations have to be made for this. To begin with, the engine must be brought up to temperature. Even before the engine is started, the reason that this is important is that the parts of the engine are so close together that the moving components can be damaged if the temperatures are too low. With a normal car, that danger is also there but to a far lesser extent, which is why you have to warm it up before you ask a lot of the engine. There's always so much demand from an F1 engine that it simply cannot run cold. The engine is therefore brought up to temperature by pumping heated coolant through the cooling channels. This increases the basic temperature for the block. For this, the coolant must be at a temperature of around 80 degrees, which is fairly comparable to the engine of a normal car. Meanwhile, the engine oil is also brought up to temperature by someone else in the pit box. That is even more crucial, because this is the stuff that ensures everything continues to move properly in the engine. It's essential that the oil gets to exactly the right temperature and does not even get too hot. When the oil is at the correct temperature, it's then pumped into the engine that has already been warmed up by the coolant. Once this has been completed, the engine is almost ready. Of course, if the engine is not running, it cannot just get the oil everywhere, so again it needs assisting. You may have seen someone with a sort of large electric screwdriver standing behind a Formula 1 car, which ensures that the engine makes strokes before it's actually started. That way the oil gets to where it needs to be and the engine is eventually in a state that it looks ready to run. That is the moment when the engine can finally be fired up. In the pit box, the engine is started by pressing buttons on the steering wheel. Meanwhile, there are people who keep a close eye on the temperatures of the engine. They can also operate the motor themselves via their laptop or tablet, which means they can turn it off if critical values are exceeded. This is important to really get the engine up to operating temperature and again has to be done very carefully. For this, a special program is completed using different speeds to turn the engine over. And then the time has come. The engine is completely ready for use. The driver can get in and drive away. If the car stalls, the entire process does not have to be repeated and the engine can simply be restarted. After all, it has already been run. Nevertheless, it remains crucial that the temperatures as the engine is restarted remain within the correct framework. Of course, stalling is not ideal, but it can happen and frequently does, as we have seen across the years.